So guys, are you thinking about changing out your handlebars on your Rogue Glide? Guys, my name is Rick and this is the HD Vibe Channel. In today's video, I'm actually going to show you how to change the look of your handlebars without all the hassles of rewiring. And we'll get into it right after this. So that's right guys, you can make these stock handlebars much more comfortable and look like non-stock handlebars with just a few adjustments. And what I'm going to do today is actually show you how to do that and show you how much adjustment you can actually get out of these bars. Let's get started now. All right, so to get this project started, we first need to remove this instrument cluster cover. Um, and right here and then on the other side, there's actually a T25 Torx uh, screw that goes in here. And so I'm just going to loosen that up with my Torx bit. And we'll completely remove it on this side, and then I'll repeat that on the other side. All right, so now that I've got the instrument cluster loosened up, those two screws are removed, I need to get this horseshoe shaped cover off here. What I'm going to use is actually my uh, right angle pick, and I'm going to get back underneath this little horseshoe. And there's just a little tab there, and if you push in on that very gently, you should be able to pop this little tab off and that released it and then carefully slide it out off to the side and I've got that removed. Okay, so once you get that horseshoe removed, that'll allow this to come back out and behind here there's going to be three connections. One that controls the speedometer and tachometer and that's right in the middle of this cluster. And then there's one over here and one over here for these power buttons. So you need to remove those to be able to get this cluster completely out. All right, so I've got this left side one off. Um, they're just kind of the push pull tab. So I just pull that one off. And then to get this main one off, I'm gonna use my screwdriver. There's a tab on the right and the left side of this connector. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of gently pry that off and get that off of the the locking portion of this and then gently pull that out and we've loosened that one up and so now this is pretty free so here's the one that's often challenging to get to because it's actually flipped upside down so there's a screw here and a screw here and then that should free this instrument cluster completely up now that we've got the instrument cluster completely uh, out of the way. Um, you can see here on my triple tree, you've got four bolts here, here, and here that hold the handlebars in place. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to loosen these four bolts very gently. This is actually a quarter inch Allen on these bolts. So what I'm going to do is just loosen these up. And what I would suggest doing is loosen sort of on the diagonal um, across here. And then also hold these bars with your free hand so that these don't rock down and smash your tank. So be cautious on that. Again, hold these bars because as soon as you loosen this, this is going to rock back a little bit. So let me go ahead and get these loosened up here. And again, I'm going to alternate sides. So I'm just cracking the seal, so to speak, on these. And as you can see, those bars are already starting to move. As I loosen this one, these things are going to rock down on me. Okay, so now I've got, as you can see, they're very loose. So in order to move these a little bit higher, I'm actually gonna loosen these bolts just a little bit more. So it's gonna give me a little bit of clearance because there's like a little stop that's built into this clamp that's sort of holding them in position. So you got that much play in these with that tab. So that's all the way down. Now I've got these all the way up, which I think is about where they were to begin with. So I'm gonna keep loosening these up so I can get up and over that tab. All right, so the other tip I'm gonna give you here is actually to put some tape or something to mark the position of these bars relative to this clamp because once you get it off of that notch that's in here. These bars are going to be going kind of left and right, so you don't want to get them off center. So I'm going to continue loosening these up a little bit here. Okay, and I hit that magic spot now where it actually went up over that stop. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually get them to the point where I can still tighten these bolts from the side but not have it too high, but it's giving me just a little bit more because really all I needed was probably about another 
inch or so. Um, so now what I'm going to do is hold these here and begin tightening these down. So I'm doing the final tightening on these bolts. Again, you just want to make sure you have these tight in here. And again, alternating from side to side, top to bottom, just to make sure they're tight. And from an alignment perspective, I'm good. I'm right on my tape that I put on the handlebars there. So I know I'm squared up in the original position. And these are getting pretty tightened down. I will leave your torque spec down in the description. I don't have that in front of me, but I'll torque those down. But the last thing you want to do after you get those tightened down is make sure you have clearance on your inner fairing. That's the problem sometimes with bars if they get too far up. If you go full lock, um, you could hit your inner fairing. So I'm going to check this. And I've got about a finger's width there, full lock. And about a finger's width there to the left, full lock. So I'm pretty good. So now to finish up the project, um, I just need to get this instrument cluster on. And then uh, we'll take this out for a ride and make sure this is set up just right for me. The only other thing you do, since you kind of rock these up just a little bit, even if it's only an inch or inch and a half, um, that may throw off the position of these. So you may need to loosen uh, your screws here and kind of roll these back down a little bit. Um, but I won't know that until I kind of get out and road test it. All right, guys, so we got the instrument cluster back on. Uh, we got the bars all tightened up. As you can see, they're not going anywhere. Um, and wow, what a difference. Um, this is giving me a little bit more height. Um, before stock, they were kind of sitting down here. I'm probably going to have to slightly roll these back or maybe I'll just be able to adjust my mirrors um, back just a little bit to be able to see kind of behind me. Um, but I may have to roll these back just a little bit. But this feels pretty good. Um, gives me a much more upright seated position and uh, kind of looks like aftermarket bars, but they're not. So guys, there you have it. Um, we have adjusted the stock bars to get a little bit more height on your hand grips. I actually did end up rotating these uh, a little bit back so that they were more comfortable. Um, but you can save a bunch of money. Um, just rotate these up. It'll either get you by um, until you decide to go with a different set of bars or maybe you decide that these are just good enough and you can stick with these stock bars, just slightly raise up a little bit. Um, like I said, I felt like maybe an inch or so is all I needed and maybe these are an inch or three quarters of an inch higher um, and that really did the trick. So guys, if you like this type of content, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider sharing this with your friends and if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, hit that button right down here and subscribe to the channel. When you do subscribe, leave a comment down below saying I subscribe so I can personally reach out and thank you for supporting the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon to select all so you do get notified every time I do put out new content. As I do have over 200 videos on tips, tricks, rides, reviews, and installs on these Harley Davidson Touring Motorcycles, which I feature the 2021 Road Glide Special, the 2021 Street Glide CVO, and the 2023 Street Glide ST. And with that, guys, I'm going to leave you with this thought. Life is short. Get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.